Hi guys, Franz here. Welcome back to another episode of Night's Dragon. So, as you all might have heard yesterday, I only focus on specific elements, meaning back-to-back -back elements and like the Earth file water. I also, like I said, I stated that in that uh, video yesterday, and also the double mono, so Earth, Earth, Air, Air, etc. Now, why am I doing this? Well. I also stated that in the other video, it's just because they can get super effective damage back um, in terms of like the opponents being super effective against you if you like counted them perfectly with three times effective or it being three times effective. So that's why I'm going to do a Dragonforge only Fusion Front because I still have a lot or actually yeah quite a lot of Dragonforge that are like fire, air, spirit, air, spirit, water, and all that sorts of good stuff. And I just want to be um, notifying you guys that I have uh, had uh, a ton of uh, tons of alliance videos out as of lately, so that's why I'm currently doing this future frenzies, or this future frenzy, not future frenzies, but <laughs> that's why I'm just doing this video, you know, just to have a little bit more fun with the game itself instead of things that were built around it to make the game, um, I guess, cheaper or in, in but in, yeah. In, Let's just say it like that. Now, uh, we do have another Gold War popping up, and there's just too many Gold Wars as of lately. And also, Eternality, we are full. We are like overloaded actually, because if I really want to have all the people in here that are currently in the line chat as of now, then I'll need to like have three other spots, because there's like 43 members in total, all together with the alts and everything, uh, that can actually be in here. But instead, like, we can only house 40 members as of now, which is quite unfortunate. But, like, if you want to join my branch, by the way, my line ID is always in the description if you want to join my guild. My line ID is still in the description, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm like, a decent guy, you know, I, I try to, uh, like, understand everybody and do uh, stuff like that. But, before we actually um, talk too, too much into um, that stuff, we're going on a trip with my favorite pirate ship, which is this thing. Now, you can see Solar Leaf Scepter right there, it's Fire Earth. Now, I was actually thinking if I wanted to fuse this one away, because, like, it's it's Fire Earth, but it's also that damn good, you know? It's even better than Infernus Totalum, <laughs> but Solar Leaf Scepter, you know, I, I was thinking, because the stats are just that good, you know, and, like, shouldn't I fuse it away or not? And I'm still debating on that, and I, I think I have about 10 Dragon Forts that I can fuse away. You see, Pharaoh's Plague Gears actually shits, but I now see that I have two epics that I can fuse away. Four, even. Okay, I'll take I'll take that. We're going to do the epics first, before we actually decide to go to the Dragon Forts. Because maybe I'll get another Dragon Forts out of this, you never know, you know? And every little second that uh, counts up here is a, some, it's a second closer to 10 minutes, of course. <laughs> Which is closer to my extra advertisement, of course. Now, I don't make jack shit in the, with these advertisements, but it's it's nice as doing this as a hobby and actually getting paid for it, you know? But, hey, that, that's just my side of the story. We're going to do Pharaoh's Plague Gear with... Yeah, Fennet Ember Gear, well, why not? You know, let's just see if we can actually snag a decent Dragonforge from level 40. Now, what is that thing? That is a... Windwalkers, okay, that's not that... Mm, meh, it's on, the, it's on the meh side, it's on the flip side. Did I... do I already have a... yeah, I already have a Miss Walkers. Do I need two? It's... I still need to think about that as well. And if I, if I don't, then... what am I doing, actually? <laughs> if, if, like, if I don't think about the stuff that I need to do, then how am I even doing this account? What is that? Is that a... Uh, that's a shit armor. Okay, Pelgic Plate Mill, we can fuse that away because we don't need that at all. Like, Manos are... Officially done for it, you know, ever since the Earth Earths and everything came out, Monos are done, you know, they, they are not really necessary in this game anymore. That is a Water Air or Water Earth? No, whatever it is, Snowburst Trappings, okay, it, it, it's one of the earlier Dragonforged, not good, not that good, no, as you can see by the stats right there. And I'm kind of, no, I'm not running out of armor, it's actually to feel the way. Actually, very nice to see that I still have uh, quite a um, big amount of armor. Is that another Infernus Totalum? I'll gladly take that, actually. Because double fire fire, so fire 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 fire, <laughs> is going to be causing havoc for spirits uh, raids. Um, as long as they're not spirit water, otherwise I'm, sti I'm still pretty damn fucked. I don't, I don't even know if there are many uh, uh, um, like 
Dragon Force. I, I, I don't know, I can't re recall it as far as I know. So I just made up my mind. Solo Leaf Scepter is going away, even though it's a pretty damn good armor, but I need to stick to uh, what I say, you know? And if I don't do that, then what, what is the purpose of me saying stuff? <laughs> so maybe I'll just shut up in, the, in that case. So I'm going to do this on a Miss Walkers away, because by the time I'm, I, I've maxed that, it's already gone. So I'll put the level 1 away, because the level 40, you know, it saves me enhancement, gold and everything. Is that a... that's a Spirit Air armor, right? Yeah, the Codex of Time, level 5. It's not, it's not that good at all, is it? It's better than... Okay, now, Mystic Kitsune. Do I want to fuse that one away? Because even though it's water, water, it's kind of bad. It's, it's not the best armor, but it's not, it's not the worst armor either. But, yeah, I'm, I'm just taking a look at what I still got, you know, because you, you can clearly see that all these Dragonforts, of course, they are back-to-back -back elements, so and I'm not going to fuse any of these away. Arrhenius, Kachina, <laughs> they have been with me for a long time, and I love that. And, I don't know. Do I want to fuse Mystic Kitsune away just because of me wanting a better Dragonforce than that? Because maybe I won't even get a better Dragonforce, but I don't think that I'm going to do it. Okay, no, I made up my mind, not going to, okay? Sorry guys, but that I think that was the Fusion Frenzy already. I'm, I mean, like, the Dragonforce that we got actually were quite decent from it. And that, those Basilic Eyes, by the way, 20, 20 euros... 20 and somewhat euros for two basilic eyes. Well, uh, yeah, that's over 100 euros for 10 basilic eyes, meaning that you can finally have it right then. And 100 euros, I, I have to tell my bank account right now, but not much more. <laughs> so yeah, you can also see that I have like 500 armors almost. Let's just take a look at my accounts for a while. Now, the, the last Shadow Forge that I actually got was Lionheart Gladiator. That was with the official top run that I did. I actually did get two Shadow Forge from Gri, uh, like, for free. And being the Wildwood God and one of the manipulators being this one, the, the 1 out of 10 Ascended one. Why did I get those? Well, one was because um, I was on a raid when other people were hacking, so I was kind of, like... Not, uh, yeah, they, they just wanted to give me uh, some uh, as, like, how do you, how, I don't even know how to say it, but they, they gave me this as a um, excuse or something. Let, let's, yeah, let's just say excuse. And Blazing Wind Rider was my very first uh, Shadow Forge step then that I, actually, that I actually went on myself. Manipulators Eternal was from, this original Manipulators Eternal was from the raid. Uh, I, my Coco Master decide, Denise decided to just go. Uh, on a run and she wanted to take uh, the account uh, from me uh, with, her, with her, so we switched accounts for that weekend and yeah, she just hit for me the entire raid, so yeah, I, I don't know, she just wanted me to have another Shadow Forge. Sylvanas, this one is actually quite, um, yeah, what is it? I don't know, honestly. I think that I I got this one because of uh, a glitch in heroic mode or something? Yeah, I know, I know, glitches in heroic mode, but I'm by long, by far not the only one that's abusing those glitches. Same goes for Sinister Plague Mill, got the entire set, uh, thanks to heroic mode. And yeah, you can clearly see that I do have the regular as well as the plus version of Sylvanas. So, once um, this thing, I don't need Sylvanas anymore, because like, I already have two Earth Earth that are much better than this Sylvanas, it's one of the first Shadow Shadowforge, so I don't need it either. And yeah, then, then we have the other Dragonforge, of course. And the things that I have max, I don't have a Shadowforge max just yet. Now I need to scroll all the way, because all these armors are still waiting to be enhanced. These are the only three Dragonforge that I have max. And why uh, why do I max Dragonforge? Because I already know that people after level 101, they don't do that anymore. Um, I do that myself, so they are not getting in my way anymore. Because you can see that r right here when I, like... <laughs> when I want to enhance, let's say, when I want to enhance Infernus Tatalum, instead of standing right in front, it will stand... I will, have to I will have to scroll all the way down here just to get it, you know? And that's why I want to max all of these armors. And Lionheart Gladiator is actually still a damn good armor. <laughs> I don't have anything against it, you know? Look look at the stats that it can still get. It can still um, have another 300 in terms of attack and 200 in terms of defense. Which is a lot for uh, an armor, and even for me. And this set, are, I do have the set, it's not maxed either. <laughs> it's not even close to being maxed. Level 77 for the ring, and level 
I think 70 something for oh level 81 for the for the yeah for the Emmy for the Emmy let's just yeah Emmy <laughs> and like I don't know what what to just do with this you know uh, I mean I, I need to go on more top runs to actually be able to max these stuff max this stuff but when I go on top runs all I get uh, will be more of this Shadowforge and Dragonforge stuff as well so does does it really work I don't think so. That's why I want to max them the way I do it now. You know, I don't have any shadows or sil silver coins, but we're not going to talk about that. So, as I stated, we still have a sub goal, by the way. So, if you want to join Eternality, uh, we need loyal players, by the way, not people that say, like, hey, I am staying for two weeks. Now you can piss off right then, because we need loyal players that uh, just stick with each other and stick with the family. You know, we need loyalty. Um, the only thing that we, uh, when we left Empire, the only thing that we actually uh, did keep from Empire was Hanna loyalty and respect. Now Hanna isn't really a thing that I like Fancy the most but loyalty is like loyalty and respect are the two biggest things for me when it comes to um, You coming in here, you know, <laughs> and uh, Hanna it's, it's for me. I I'm not really giving a shit about Hanna because Hanna is something different from loyalty and respect from my perspective. Why do I think that? It's just how it works for me. So loyalty and respect, of course, uh, I have had some people in uh, uh, Eternity that weren't, respect, uh, weren't respecting others, and I just kicked them. And that's how easy I am, I just plainly kicked them, just because of being disrespectful towards others. Same goes for in the rack branch, you know, it all, it all works like that. But guys, thank you so much for watching, because I don't want to make this video uh, that damn long again. And now I know that maybe there's a meme or a sudden guy that just says like, hi! <laughs> you're, you're saying that you're not going to make it all too long and 5 seconds later it's 50 minutes. Yeah, for me that's not long, you know. For me that's about 10 to 50 minutes is my average, 30 minutes is very very long for me. But guys, thank you so much for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed and I hope to see you all again next time.